All right, guys, so I'm at Walgreens and I got the Mario Bowser two pack. Pretty freaking sweet. And then they have, it's not the thing, that, but this Mega Man 8 bet figure, which is pretty freaking sweet. Um, don't know if I'm gonna pick them up just yet, but definitely the two pack. What's going on guys? I'm at Walmart and I got a pretty good tip off if it's still here but there was some clearance items in in this Walmart that uh, is really freaking good and I can't pass up on them so hopefully they'll have them you will know it when you see it so just stay tuned let's go with something. All right guys, I'm back and that was an amazing Walmart trip. I have to thank the Toy Creeper himself, my buddy Richie, for letting me know what was on clearance. So as you saw, the things that I picked up, I went ahead and picked up this Arcade Classics for three doll hairs. Not a bad deal at all. It is Asteroids, so three bucks. That is, that's awesome, that's perfect. I got the Kylo Ren uh, Walmart exclusive black series for five bucks as well. And they had, as you saw, they probably had like 15 of them. So great deal on that. I will spend $5 on that all day. So I got the Marvel Legends Black Widow for five bucks, an amazing deal. I couldn't pass it up. Uh, could you, could you for five bucks? Could you really pass it up? Maybe, maybe some. But for five, I, I couldn't couldn't do it. So even though I am kind of being careful on what I buy legend-wise, five bucks for a writer is amazing. So once again, Richie, thank you for the information. You rock my socks. All right, guys, I'm headed to Retro Madness. They just got in a bunch of knockoffs that uh, actually they got in a few days ago and I couldn't come in because unfortunately, not unfortunately, but I had to take my wife to a Taylor Swift concert. Yeah, Taylor Swift, check it out. All right, so it is date night and we are going, where are we going? Taylor Swift! Oh my gosh, she drug me to the Taylor Swift concert and we are here at the home of the best, the greatest team in football history, the Dallas Cowboys. So anyway, um, yeah, this is, what, what was this, your Christmas present last year? Mm -hmm. We got these tickets? Yeah. So anyway, we're gonna go check this out. Oh, uh, deuces. So yeah, that was great and all, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm headed to Retro Madness now. Hopefully they got some that I can pick up. There's definitely a few that I wanted for sure. So let's go check it out.
right, so I just got back from Retro of Madness. As you could see, they had a crap ton of knockoffs. And did I get some? Of course I did. So I'm gonna start off with the uh, Heroes, uh, De La Luca Libre, freaking Skeletor, and uh, Snake Mountain. No, Castle Grayskull, it's, it's Castle Grayskull. All mixed together, um, had to get it just because this is ridiculous. It, it has to be my collection. So I got that. Um, it was uh, 25. I had some store credits, so I did that. And my top two pickups of the day is another knockoff, but it's He-Man and Battle Cat. Look at that. He-Man's just, there's no color. That's what I love most about it. And then Battle Cat, um, it's just, I mean, it's a flimsy piece of like blown up plastic. It's so crazy it's so crappy that i love it it's craptastic so that's going to look great in my collection i am going to take the bag off of this and i'm going to show you guys what it looks like later and then another item that i've been wanting for a while that i had as a uh, as a kid growing up was the gobot command center here comes the gobot command center your parents put it together you can change it to a land walker and a mighty fortress. Nine volt battery not included. Gobot sold separately. Enemy Gobot attacking. Now it attacks for master control. Leader one, try and conquer the world now. You are grounded, Coptor. The Gobot Command Center. Leader one and Coptor each sold separately. New from Tonka. So that's what that is. And I need I need more shelving, so we're gonna look at my shelves later on. But anyway, guys, that's a look and an update from Retro Madness on the goods that they have coming in. So let's get back to the narc layer. Welcome to the haul portion of this video. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with my pickups from Walmart. So as you can see, I got the Star Wars Black Series Kylo Ren Throne Room set for five dollars i do have snoke so i'm probably going to put that together and see what that looks like and then moving on i got the arcade classics asteroids for three dollars i was waiting for these guys to go on clearance as soon as i saw them even though twenty dollars is not a bad price but three dollars is more my speed and then moving up i got the marvel legends black widow rider for five bucks you just can't beat that so she will be a great addition to my Marvel Legend collection. So check your Walmarts, guys. Check your Walmarts. And then moving on to some vintage goodness, I went to Retro Madness and I was able to pick up the GoBots Command Center. Now this guy needs a little TLC. I got it for a really good price. I mean, basically like 20 bucks, but I'm going to give it a good uh, scrub down and then um, put it up with my vintage stuff so I'm super happy to add that to my collection and then last but not least I picked up two knockoffs so I got the Heroes de la Luca Libre Skeletor with Castle Grayskull question mark yeah because I don't I'm guessing that's what it is I do not want to take this guy out of the wrapper just because I don't know, just that packaging right there <laughs> is amazing to me. But what I am going to unbox or unwrap for you guys is this He-Man and Battle Cat set I got. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm super excited to open up He-Man and Battle Cat, or as Cincy Nerd would say, Knee-Man and Cattle Cat, because I sent him a picture of what I picked up and he, um, yeah, he totally made something bootleg for it. So yeah, here we go. So a lot of people ask me why I'm so fascinated with these bootlegs and the answer to that is quite simple. I, I don't know, they're just, these guys are just so odd and um, I just have, have to have them. They're really, really unique and it's just something that you do not see, obviously, around here at least. But oh my gosh, this is freaking bootleg. So, you know that, che you can see it on, on the camera, but that cheap, cheap plastic, just, you can hear it. That's what that is. 
and then Battle Cat has a freaking hole in his mouth. That is ridiculous. And then He-Man is just one color. Well, his arms are a different color. But uh, he has, comes with the shield as well. Which, it just comes with that little nub in right there. I don't even know where this goes. Maybe it goes in here. And you just kind of... Yep, yeah, that's... That's a shield, guys. Oh my gosh. This is awful. Awfully good. Haha. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so there's Knee Man and Nattle Cat. Or Cattle Cat. However you want to say it. There he is. So I have my KOs right there. That shelf. And I'm already I'm already at capacity. I have some more put away and then these new ones I got. I need more space. So that's what I'm gonna do here pretty soon. So guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for subbing. Go ahead and hit the like button if you would, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Peace.